The United States is said to have authorized the sale of 12 units of HIMARS-MLRS to the Philippine Army due to the good relations between the two countries. HIMARS-MLRS had previously been sent to the Philippines for joint exercises several times following the cancellation of the delivery of 22 Kyon MLRS from South Korea. The Philippine Army immediately sought a replacement. Recent reports indicate that the Philippine Army is considering acquiring at least 12 units of M142 HARS MLRS as an alternative but the challenge lies in the potential acquisition of HAR weapons due to their high cost. The Philippines is exploring alternative options from the United States such as an installment plan or using other agreements to facilitate the continuation of the project. The Philippines aims to enhance its army's capabilities by acquiring new missile systems as part of its shift towards a territorial defense strategy. The Philippine Army is seeking a more advanced and advanced multiple launch rocket system as it was impressed with the capabilities of the U.S.-made system during recent exercises in 2023. This move is in line with the country's military focus on coastal defense in which artillery plays a role. Important role alongside land-based missiles and land-based air defense systems at the 125th anniversary ceremony of the Philippine Army's Artillery Regiment. Chief Romeo Broner highlights plans to acquire advanced missile systems such as the American HAR MLRS. This ambition is part of the armed forces of the Philippines' modernization program in its final phase known as Horizon 3. Having such a platform is critical to augment the Army's existing artillery units and align with learnings from the conflict in Eastern Europe as the Philippines continues to grow in interest in the equipment. Military rigor exemplified in exercises such as Balakatan, there is a growing appreciation for the capabilities demonstrated by the United States in line with ongoing modernization efforts within the armed forces of the Philippines. Live fire exercises conducted by the U.S. military provide insight into the weapons capabilities desired by the Philippine military leadership that are critical to the country's external defense strategy. Advanced military hardware in line with increasing external defense concerns in the Philippines. Collaboration with allies such as Japan, Australia and the United States is very important in securing national sovereignty. Procurement of advanced equipment such as hazards is seen as critical to this effort. Colin Ko, a researcher at the Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore highlighted the high importance of procurement for the Philippine Army especially in light of recent global conflicts that serve as precision rocket artillery systems that act as multipliers. Strength for the Philippine Army which is relatively smaller, even though the Army is lacking in this regard. Mass power and high Mars hardware can compensate by providing precision firepower while HIMARS received most of its publicity from the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine. It is not an unfamiliar system to Philippine troops. For years, U.S. Marine Corps and Army HIMARS have trained in the Philippines through the many annual combined exercises between the two countries. During Balakat in 2023, Philippine troops witnessed the rapid deployment and mobility of HIMARS in Palawan, an island province on the West Philippine Sea, via C-130 in what is known as a HIMARS Rapid Infiltration Drill. HIMARS was also deployed to the Batanes, a series of islands in the Luzon Strait just south of Taiwan, via U.S. Army landing craft. HIMARS ability to be transported around by air and sea during these exercises likely played a major role in the Philippine Army's decision to acquire the rocket system.